Buenos dias, familia! So today in this video, we're gonna be making pupusas! <laughs> They're my favorite. First, we're gonna need some storage Ziploc bags, some mozzarella creamy melt, some masola corn oil. You're also gonna need your maseca. And of course, you're gonna need also some salt as well as water and you'll see in the video the measurements as well so first we're going to start off with two cups of the maseca of course keep in mind it depends how many pupusas you want to make if you want to make more than that then you could definitely double up your ingredients with this amount i was able to make six you're also going to need a tablespoon of salt you could add half of that if you want as well as one and a half cups of warm water and you do want it to be warm trust me you'll see why <laughs> it'll get like clumpy and nasty if you do it with cold and also you can go ahead and you're gonna see in the video that I add a little bit more water and it's just because there's a specific consistency that you want it to have otherwise you're just gonna have some really hard pupusas and you don't want that so definitely add more water so you're going to go ahead and massage your mix. And you see here how there is, it's definitely still dry. There's still like, it's clummy. It's not to that dough like consistency that we want. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more water. Keep in mind when you're doing this, you want it to have the consistency of a dough like nice and soft in your hands where it's mushy and doesn't is not watery to the point where it breaks apart because remember we're going to be filling these puppies up with cheese so this is a little trick that i do you don't have to do it i recommend it and you'll see why when you start doing them if you guys try this recipe I put a little bit of the oil into the little rice cup, the rice measuring cup, and I rub it in my hands. And then I'll grab a piece of the dough and I'll go ahead and roll it into a ball. The reason why I do that is because if you don't, it's going to kind of like feel nasty in your hands and it might get like stuck to your hands and you don't want that. This allows it to basically glide through your palms. And it's way easier and faster to play around with, to mold, and it gives it a very, very nice finishing touch. So we're going to roll these babies into a ball two times. So keep in mind, this first time we're just rolling it into the ball to get it started. Later on, you're going to see how I flatten it out. And then that's when we start filling it up and roll it into a ball again. Also guys, uh, keep in mind that if you want to make more pupusas, all you have to do is double it up. So with two cups, I was able to make six pupusas. If you put four cups, you'll be able to make 12. And then we go ahead and clean up our workspace because I hate working in a messy kitchen. So we're going to go ahead and grab the Ziploc bags and we're going to cut the ends because we want the air to escape because we are going to be closing it. We don't want um, we don't want there to be any air when we are flattening out the tortillas or the pupusas. So you can grab any pan. I used the same little glass pan um, that I used to do the mix in just because I didn't want to dirty too many things. Um, keep in mind that my hands are full of oil so I didn't want to grease up too many things. <laughs> Once we flatten it out we're gonna go ahead and put our creamy melt mozzarella cheese in the center. You could add as much as you like. Um, I wouldn't overdo it because when you roll it into the ball again it's going to be a little bit more difficult so i would say maybe like about a handful kind of like you know grabbing it like crane wise 
that's perfect. And we're going to go ahead and seal it to make it look like an empanada. We're going to rub our hands again with the oil and now we're going to mold it back into a ball again. And then we're going to flatten it out again and then that's it, you're done. As far as the edges go, keep in mind also that that oil is going to be your best friend in this part because it's going to be able once again to just glide through it very, very smoothly, very, very quickly and faster. The edges don't really have to be perfect. I mean, I didn't make mine perfect. I just kind of tried to make it look like a pancake, I guess, but that's good enough. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfectly circled. If you do want it like that, then you're more than welcome but I really don't mind it how it looks. As long as it tastes amazing and it's super cheesy, then that's all I care about. Also, this recipe um, for pupusas, it normally comes with a cabbage topping. I did not create it because today I just wanted to make the specific pupusas recipe. The cabbage topping is a completely other recipe. Um, I've seen it on Pinterest. And I'll link it down below for you guys. But if you guys want to see me make the cabbage topping for the pupusas, then definitely go ahead and write down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. So now we're gonna go ahead and fry these little babies up. We're gonna add a little bit of oil just to help it glide a little bit. My little grill here is not friendly with nonstick, as you can tell. So it was a little bit difficult. It kind of broke it a little bit, but I was able to put it back together and make it look decent. <laughs> so definitely use a nonstick. Okay, so that's the final product. 
I was trying so hard, you guys, to film this for you, but it was so hot. <laughs> it was ridiculously hot, but that's how it looks in the middle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if there's any other recipes that you would like for me to do for you guys. Thank you so much, familia. Have a good one. Bye.